Israelites adoption. Greetings, I'm Ben Haran. This is Israelites adoption. Opening cry. Philippians 2, 13 to 15. For it is God which works in you both to will and to do his pleasure. Do all these things while murmurings and disputing, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the middle of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine like lights in the world. Abba Father is a spirit that creates from his word, but doesn't reproduce. Therefore, Abba must adopt to have a physical earthly family. He calls his people the sons of God by his name, Israel. Let's go to Isaiah 45, for, for Jacob my servant's sake and Israel my elect, I have even called you by my name. I have surnamed you, though you have not known me. You can't be called by God's name if you haven't renamed yourself. Adopt yourself and live. Romans 9, 4 through 8. Who are Israelites to whom pertains the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises? Who are the fathers? and of whom are concerning the flesh Christ came, who is over all, God bless forever, amen. Not as though the word of God has taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Neither because they are seeds of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall my seed be called, and that is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Therefore, anyone can be adopted to the family of Israelites and be counted as seed. Let's check out Ephesians 1, 4, and 5. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us into the adoption of the children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasures of his will. Let me read Romans 8, 13 to 15. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the spirit of mortified through the deeds of the body, you shall live. For many are led by the Spirit of God. They are sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, where you cry, Abba, Father. The spirit of adoption has come of age. Get adopted and cry, Abba, Father, Abba will hear your cries. Galatians 4, 4 through 7. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that they received the adoption of sons. And because you are sons, therefore you are no more a servant, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. As a son of man, you can only be considered a son of God by adoption, not baptism. You are an adopted person of God, an Israelite, a son of God, just like the Israelite Jesus. He is the example of the past to dwell as an adopted Abba Israelite of today. Let's go to Isaiah 43, 3 through 7. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for
for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for you. Since you were precious in my sight, I have been honorable and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I bring your seed from the east. I gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, my daughters from ends of the earth. And everyone that is called by my name, for I have created them for my glory. Yeah, I made them. You have been baptized for the remission of sin, and still sin. Have you been circumcised, and still not part of Abraham's family? Then you need to become adopted as a son and daughter of God, an Abba Israelite, with the main purpose, mission, and direction to rebuke the devil for eternal life here on earth. Everyone should be called by my name, Israel. Biblically, you should be part of your name so others know the Abba Israelite people. Let's go to Isaiah 44, 1 through 6. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and you, Jezreel, whom I have chosen. I will pour out my spirit upon your seed and my blessings upon your offspring. One shall say, I am the Lord's. Another shall call himself by the name Jacob. Another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And besides me, there is no God, Abba Father. Please go to israelitesadoption.org and read 031, Adopt Yourself. Thanks. Close and cry, Ezekiel 18:30. Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, says the Lord of God. Cast away all your transgressions whereby you have transgressed, and make a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies, says the Lord of God. Therefore, turn yourselves and you live. Israelites' Adoption